Where's my sweater, Whitney? The one you borrowed last week. It's right there on the chair. And do you mind knocking? And I don't want you borrowing any of my clothes anymore. Excuse me. It was mine first. I gave it to you. Right. And I'm only good enough for hand-me-downs. <sighs> Simone, you're acting so childish. I'd rather be childish than a traitor. I can't believe you sided with Mom and Dad instead of me and Chad. What do you mean, you and Chad, okay? You just met him. So what? We had an immediate connection. I liked him, and he likes me. A connection? <laughs> right. It's true. You know what you are? Jealous. <sighs> oh, please! You are. You're jealous because I have a boy interested in me, and you have no one interested in you. You think I'm jealous because Chad paid a little attention to you? I think you're very jealous. That's the only reason you backed up Mom and Dad instead of me and Chad. Um, excuse me, do you remember that I got in trouble too? For not telling Mom that he was here when she called. You sure sided with her when she and Daddy got home. She was right, Simone. I mean, what were you thinking, inviting that guy over here when she specifically told you to stay away from him? She doesn't even know him. She has no right to judge him. Well, maybe not, but she's our mother. And if she wants us to do something, we're supposed to do it. I wanted to see Chad, and he wanted to see me. Would it make Mom happy if I snuck out and went to some bar to meet him? Ugh, like you could get into any bar anyway. <sighs> Simone, will you just please wake up? I mean, you're just getting yourself into trouble over nothing. Chad isn't nothing. Will you just stop it, please? You're just fooling yourself. Chad came here for a free meal, period. That's a lie. Of course you wouldn't understand how I feel because you've never had a boy interested in you. That is not true. Who? I have had a lot of guys interested in me, okay? I just have more important things in my life right now. Right. You're upset because Chad's out there somewhere thinking about me and there is absolutely no one out there thinking about you. You couldn't be more wrong, Simone. I really don't care that there isn't some guy out there thinking about me. Yeah, right. I am telling the truth. I am not jealous. And when you do meet a boy that genuinely cares about you, I will be happy for you. And what if Chad cares about me? Would you still be happy for me? <sighs> Simone, you don't know anything about him. He's new in Harmony. He has no family here, no friends, except for you. <sighs> Why don't you just listen to Mom and Dad and stay away from him? No way. <sighs> well, maybe they know something that you don't. Save your breath, Whitney. I am going to see Chad, and nothing you say will stop me. I'll get it in my check. Oh, hello? Simone? It's Kay. You won't believe what happened. You won't believe what happened here. Look, I'm gonna take this downstairs so we can talk. Hang on. Is that Chad? No. Well, don't be on the phone too long. I have a right to speak to my own friends, don't I? <sighs> my little sister is developing a bad attitude. Oh. Kay, are you sure you heard him right? Miguel says he wants you in his life forever. Well, he said always, but that's the same thing, right? But what if he finds Charity? He'll never find her in a million years. Why? Where is she? I don't know. Maybe she was taken away by the forces of evil her mom was always talking about. Your Aunt Faith did believe in that stuff. Well, whatever happened, I'm sure she's out of Miguel's life for good. And that's all I care about. I guess I'm happy for you, Kay. You guess? Well, Charity is your cousin. You should care what happens to her. I do care, Simone. I really do. But I can't make her appear out of thin air, can I? No. So, what happened after I left? Did your mom freak out when she saw Chad in the house? It was horrible. My parents and I had a major fight. I told them off. You did not. You have never talked back to your mom and dad in your whole life. I know, but I did. Well, it is about time you stood up to your parents, Simone. I don't know. I'm not sure if I did the right thing. Sure you did. All parents want to do is keep us from having fun. They want to keep us little kids as long as possible. They worry about us. Too much. They dedicate their whole lives to keeping us from doing what we want, what we know is right for us. Well, maybe you're right, Kay. I know I'm right. If you want to see Chad, then you should be able to. In fact, why don't you go out and find him right now? 
Now? My parents would kill me if I went out at this hour. So don't tell them that you're going. You mean sneak out? Come on, Simone. What happened to all that big talk about being your own person? If you want to see Chad right now, you should go find him. You're right, Kay. My parents can't keep me from seeing Chad if I want to. That's all right. Now go get him. I'll go look for him tomorrow. Tonight? But where do I look? Good question. Oh, I know. He said something about playing pool. Why don't you try the pool hall downtown? The pool hall? My parents would kill me if I ever... Simone. All right. I'm going now. Good girl. Go get your man. Don't let the fire go out. Thanks, Kay. I'm coming to find you, Chad, so you better be ready. I'm gonna find you, Chad. I'm not gonna let my parents run my life.